Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another GPO tutorial. In today's video, we're going to show you how to set up your very own The Front server. So let's get started. So we, what we want is a between a 10 and 40 slots. So let's start off with 10, but you can choose that and I'll show you how to change that as well. So what we'll do is just get this ordered and done. Once it is activated, it will you'll get a notice and it will just be like here and then your server will be here like so the next thing you want to do is just click this basic settings area here and we'll go for it so the server name for example this one here will be g portal their server and we'll have a like if we don't want a server password we want people to join leave it blank if you want people if you don't want people to join add that in there Server description, um, for example, just another cool server. Now the player limit here, you can choose how many you want based on your size of your server. Now, at any time that you want to change that, I'll show you how to do that in a second. Now you've got PvP and PvE here in the game mode. And also, do you want players to be able to damage themselves or damage allies? Now I'm going to leave that off for now. Moving down into advanced settings here, we've got allow chat, including voice. That's up to you if you want to have that on. Um, I would turn off attachments unless you want attachments left on in the game. And I'm going to turn off allow chat because only people I really want to chat are the people in my Discord. I don't want flooded and deafening everybody. But that's up to you. You can also leave it on and talk to everybody in game if you want. And if you want to receive... Uh, attachments in game you can um force which you call server achievement reveal i'll leave that as is is 300 unlock all recipes and talents for new characters that's up to you if you want to skip progression uh for starting inventory size leave that at 40 or if you feel like uh it's not enough upgrade it uh just add an extra couple of numbers in there enable no uh, novice protection uh, when enabled, new characters will receive protection when they spawn. Items on respawn here, you can do like, for example, format item, Sally call, and things like that. So you, what I would highly do is jump onto the front Discord uh, or their website and find these item IDs, and then you can go from there. Okay, so item stack rate, uh, each item to stack set item. So one, I would put that to a stack of five. Uh, corp loot uh, permission is up to you. Do you want players to loot? Uh, can loot the clocks? I would leave as all. Drop items on death. I would say uh, only drop items in inventory or all dropped or not full. Right? So for that one, only dropped in inventory. So it's only going to drop certain things. Uh, destroy structure when, when enabled. Structures will decay. That's up to you. Creatures, structures, drop items on death. Yes, allowed items to be discarded. Yes, show blood. Up to you guys. That depends on like if you've got kids and that on the server, you're YouTubing or whatever. Don't know where you're from, but that's like I said, it's up to you. Enable uh, profanity filter. Yes, we don't want swearing on the channel. Uh, or no, we would love swearing on the channel. That's up to you. Enable wounded state. Enables whether a wounded state is triggered when HP falls to zero or the player immediately dies. I would say leave the wounded state on. Enable anti-cheat, definitely. Right, so if you need an, an, your admin account, um, you can find your Steam64 ID and then just slap it in there. For discarded items, um, despawn is 300. Drop items is 1,800. Monster rate cooldown. Now, this one's up to you. Multiplies the cooldown between supply deliveries. Um, I'm going to leave this at like one, but I think we may be able to change that later. There's something maybe a bit higher, make it a bit more crazy. Initial spawn cooldown 10, respawn cooldown penalty 1, death penalty 5 and death penalty respawn 600 but you can change that as you see fit and the more you get onto your your game so survival now these are up to you if you want to change them feel free but um i would leave as is like always i wouldn't mess around with things like this unless you know what you're doing for vehicles vehicle versus player damage leave all all as is there's no point changing that stuff for NPCs, like for example, all monsters spawn time rate, I would leave as is, unless you want um, they like like 
to change up a bit, like so delay them or increase it. I think one's the best option. Most NPC corpse despawn times 300. Uh, you know, just standard things here. You can leave as is. There's nothing really needed done here unless you are going into advanced settings and you really want to edit that kind of stuff. But each one is self-explanatory. Combat area here. Now, this one here is up to you. You want to increase the amount of damage you can deal or like reduce the amount of damage you can deal. I would say same as before leave as is don't mess around with it if you don't know what you're doing resources uh, and collection rate um now if you've ever played any games like arc or anything like that and you want to collect a lot more than normal um i would highly say put that up by two or a little, make it a little bit faster for everybody um if you want it just as vanilla just number one okay so it's up to you if you want to increase the rate i'm sure it'll probably go up to a rate of 10 but play around with it if it doesn't work it just put it back to one um for same as for all these now for structures you've got all these how the max number of beacons each player can build i would leave that as one until you know what you're doing player work structure limit i would probably leave that the same but multiplied by the value so uh max number of work type structures each player can build will be multiplied by that value so they can build one right now so if you put on two you know then you can build so and so forth beacon trap limit uh number of traps within the beacon coverage that's up to you i would leave them maxed out so that's i think that's infinite is minus one doesn't really explain that there but i'm sure i mean that's what it is and same for all of these just leave as is once done click save and your server will load up and everything will be booted okay um what we're going to do next though is before we do anything else we're going to go to the next area which is restarts here guys the most important one is just put in here daily restart this cleans up your server stops all bugs and i'll usually set mine for about 6 a.m and i just click save like that for backups you know automatically backups are on click confirm and it will go with the same time as your um restart for permissions uh if you need to add someone on there they just use your deep their gpot um, username and add them in and if you need support at any time all you gotta do is hit that support button that will open that up and you just write a ticket there and tell them what your issue is and i'm sure they'll help you out okay so to change your server and you're not sure basically what you're doing um what we would do is go to your servers right and scroll down till you find the server you want here you can see you've only got 10 slots okay so what we'd want to do is just click this button i think oh they changed it oh no it's above it my bad i always forget about that part so here we can edit the game cloud here and if we want to add more slots say we've got 40 people on the server we need 40 slots we just click confirm and we can have 40 people on the server uh so for example i'm going to increase this one here to all oh right we've got 20 people on the server now so i'm going to confirm that and i'm going to add 20 slots to the server that's it done um i've now done that and then what you would do here is just click this little button here and add it up to 20. And don't forget guys if you're fed up with the game and you want to move on you can always reduce the number of slots and add another server thank you very much for watching another gpo tutorial don't forget in the link in the description will get you 10 percent off your server at gpo thanks for watching